turn the page in the battle for bronze. The second last team to skate here, the three-time Russian national champions, Ekaterina Bobrova and Dmitry Soloviev. And it's certainly been a career year for them. They won the European title in January, and after finishing seventh at Worlds last year, they think they have grown enough to move up onto the podium in London. And after the short dance, Ekaterina and Dimitri sat in third place. And they're much improved this year because of new coaching with uh, Alexander Zulin, world champion in ice dance. He's changed their style and given them, in this free dance, a more contemporary approach. Skating to the man with the harmonica and Tosca fantasy. This is a storyline in the dance event that I do enjoy watching portrayed on the ice. He is a broken individual, not strong in his mind, lost. She knows that. As you'll see near the end, it's a mere reflection of how it starts. choice. One definition of insanity would be doing the exact same thing over and over and over again and expecting a different result. Sounds like someone's hitting a hammer over and over again and nothing's happening. certainly helps them tell their story. For me personally, though, it doesn't draw me into their performance. I sit back, I watch what they do with respect. There's a lot to like. But emotionally, I'm not caught up in the story that they tell. Love the way they brought the story into their lips. Well, this 
this is the team gunning for the podium here. They were third after the short with only, though, a half-point lead on the team that will skate last year, and that will be Peshlan Borza. And that's such a risk, Kurt, doing a performance as they did. Gentlemen, I think they you. really showed a commitment Colorado. to the theme, you and that a worked. A different look for these yeah. two. There's a look at Fabian Borzat, the last team to skate the reigning bronze medalist. And tonight in London, the women will take to the ice. It's the ladies' free program, and you can watch it on full television. You have Caitlin Osmond, Yuna Kim, Carolina Koster, Mawa Sada, all in the medal hunt. Now here's some highlights from the performance by Bobrova and Solovia, who were third after the short program. Look at the shapes they take on in the lifts to create little pictures and snapshots of the story they're telling. I agree with you. At the very end of the program, I think you could call it the straight jacket lift, you know, and she's just dangling. And of course, when he lifts her by the back of her neck, uh, I'm really watching as the Sorry, marks ahead. come in, Kurt, for the, because now we're going to the technical requirements. We've talked about the artistry of the program. It looks to me like two of their step sequences will only be a level two, uh, losing a couple of points there. And that's a lot in a race for a bronze medal, a race this close. So they'll want a score greater than 98 points to move ahead of the Italians who are right now in third place. And you see they have it. And so and that will mean that Mabrovia and Solovia will move into third place, dropping Weaver and Poge down into fifth. But you can see by their faces, they're not concerned with the Italians. It's the French on the ice next, and they know that score they just posted is beatable.